Good morning. Welcome to the 2023 Heart of America Athletic Conference Outdoor Track and Field Media Day. I'm your host, Eric Johnson, with KLWN Radio in Lawrence, Kansas. We are joined by the Grandview Vikings on this version of things. Meridu Joseph, Madison Green, Mason Thompson joining us from Grandview. Coach, let's start with this. Uh, tell us about Mason and Madison. Why did you bring them along with you here? What do they mean to the program? Um, I brought Mason and Madison just because they are they are the future of the program that I'm trying to I'm trying to solidify. Um, Mason is uh, was a second place finisher at a 4A state meet um, his senior year in high school, and Madison has been one of our top female throwers um, since since she's gotten here as as a freshman. So um, it's one of the things that our program has really been known for is is our is our hurdles and also also our throws and in as of recent years our our mid distance program, but I can only choose two people. So I was, I had to narrow it down to these two. You've been coaching at Grandview for 14 years, but this is uh, your first year as the head coach. Uh, what does this opportunity mean to you? And, and what's different about now being in that head seat? Um, it, it means a lot. Cause uh, like I said, I've, I've put, um, I put a lot of commitments. I've sacrificed a lot um, as a, as an assistant coach the last 14 years and, and to be able to um, take the program over to, to, to continue the legacy that, that was started in 2005 when the program was, was reestablished and also to put my little spin on it. Uh, Mason, uh, what year in school are you? Where are you from and, and what brought you to Grandview? I'm a sophomore at Grandview. Um, I'm from Ankeny, Iowa, so just up the road from Grandview. And uh, what brought me to Grandview is when I had initially visited um, I actually sat down and ate lunch with one of the hurdlers that is still there. And we've become really great friends over the past two years. Uh, but talking with him and then uh, talking with all the other athletes there, it really just made it feel like it could be my home for the next four years. Just a great Madison, atmosphere. Madison, what about you? Where are you from? What brought you to Grandview? Um, so I'm a junior and I'm from West Des Moines. So not just like Mason, not too far. and the track team has a great throws program, like coach mentioned. So that was one of the things that stood out to me. And they also have a really good nursing program, which is what I'm doing. So that was one of, that was a good plus for me to choose Grandview. And like Mason said, everyone's, we're a tight little family here. So it was nice getting to go to that. Uh, what are practices like Madison? Uh, what are they like in, in terms of getting prepared for a season of throwing? What, what goes into that? How long are you guys preparing for? Yeah, so we start practices, we start outdoors in late August, and we'll do that for a couple of weeks before we go indoor for the season, and then we're, then we're stuck inside for that whole season, and then after outdoor na or indoor nationals, we'll go outdoor like a week later and start getting ready, and the new freshmen got to learn how to do hammer and all the new events. And we're kind of secluded from the rest of the team. So we're out there just in our own little world. And we kind of get to spend that time just together as throws. So we have gotten pretty close over the past season. Mason, what is Coach Joseph like to having him uh, in charge of the program? Um, well, my freshman year, he was the uh, assistant coach and he mainly kind of did hurdles. Um, and that's what I do. So. Uh, I spent a lot of time with him, getting to know him as a coach and as a person. Um, but now that he has taken over the team, I feel like I uh, honestly feel like the team has gotten a lot closer. Uh, long distance throws and uh, sprints, just everyone has gotten uh, a lot closer and tighter as a family. Um, so I can definitely say that's happened since he's taken over. And there's also obviously been a lot of success going around. And coach, you just won the heart indoor track of the uh, track coach of the year when, when your team won the indoor conference championship just a few weeks ago. Did that feel like validation in year one for you as a head coach that, yeah, I, I know what I'm doing here? Um, I would say it was, I get goosebumps still thinking about it just because oh, whoa, that emotion almost hit me. Um, it, was, it was a team win. Um, that was probably the greatest part of it all. It wasn't about, winning the trophies or myself winning coach of the year. It was, it was just, it was a team win. Um, seeing athletes fight for each other. And what's one thing that, 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 that we always talk about is, you know, go out there and protect each other. And one of the things I always say um, at our meeting before our conference meet is let's send the seniors out on a good note. 
and to have uh, one of the things I can, one of the highlights is uh, Niall Siefkin, who came back for his fifth year, um, was going into, he was in the finals, I think he was sitting like seventh or eighth, and then on his very last throw, just launches a bomb in the shot and wins it. Um, just things like that were happening just all all day long, athletes not being selfish. You know, I asked a lot of, of my two mid-distance guys, Isaiah Whitrock, uh, who came back as a fifth year, and um, Carter Heiser, who was a senior. Um, especially those two, I asked, I put a lot of races on their legs and, and for them to come back to uh, to run the DMR. So one of my athletes, um, Kevin Currett, who had never gotten a medal um, in his years here and to for them to win the DMR um, and also to actually run the DMR after being tired and, you know, going for the win. So, so Kevin could have his first medal. That was, that, that's just priceless right there. Uh, Mason, the, the men's team is going for their fifth straight heart outdoor title. What are kind of the expectations uh, of you guys as a program that's been passed down to you and, and what is it like to be in this grand view track and field program that's been so successful? Uh, I mean, the expectations are just always going to stay the same to go out and compete, um, you know, try our best. And like coach was saying, to just go out there and protect each other. Uh, honestly, one of the after indoor conference, one of the biggest expectations I have for outdoor is that everyone is out there cheering on each other. That was one thing at indoor conference that I saw uh, this year compared to last is this year. Everyone was just cheering on every and anybody. Uh, like when Niles hit that throw to go into first, uh, I looked back and probably most of the team, unless they were warming up or racing, most of the team was there watching and cheering him on. And I feel like those big marks, those uh, good runs are not able to happen unless your team doesn't have your back. And Madison, the, the women are going for their third straight outdoor title here. Kind of same question. Uh, what are the expectations for you guys as a program and what's made you so successful here over the years? Yeah, of course, the expectation, again, is to come out and get that women and men's title this year again. I've gotten it both two years I've been here, so I don't really want to stop doing that. But like Mason said, it's nice getting that whole team camaraderie together. And one, one of the things I love the most about conference is that everyone is so, like, unselfish and they'll go out there and they'll do whatever they have to do to finish that race to get those points even if it's just one point because that can make all the difference so everyone does a great job of going out there and doing whatever the coaches ask of them so yeah. coach joseph mason madison appreciate the time good luck this season thank, thank you. you yeah